Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Junior here. Today we got a video actually for God of War. They got a new gameplay trailer, so let's check it out. Got this one in 4K this time. Oh. Okay. Yes. From a combat perspective, I always and I still feel like the meat and potatoes of any God of War game is combat. Oh, 100 percent man. Ooh, I mean, it's that and the visuals that go along with it, man. Let me toot. Let me tell you. When the game looked this good. My name is uh, Roberto Clemente. Uh, all my friends call me Bert. Uh, I'm Bert. a senior combat animator here at Sony Santa Monica. My name is Kim Wynn, and I'm a gameplay animator. Oh, Hi, nice. I'm Sabra, and I'm a senior VFX artist on God of Wait, War. Wait, Sabra? That's an interesting name. Oh, my name is Grace Penn, and I'm a gameplay animator in God of War Ragnarok. Hi, oh, I'm man. Here, combat designer on God of War, and I create interesting and memorable creatures that players. Oh, like man, to those effects and defend against. Ooh. As an animator, you gave life to characters. Those effects are amazing. You make them move. You gave them personalities. You gave them weight. Man, this is looking my great. My VFX artist is Ooh. to Damn. power behind a move you yeah i can feel that fire and earth and water and wind whether you man this looks epic i cannot wait to play this game i'm i'm not playing anything spell. else other than this the game really until i finish it and the danger to every move that a character enemy makes i'm sorry everybody else like this whew. i work really closely with the design team oh man that looks great on this project specifically we actually work a lot with camera along with the guidance of our great camera team so i find myself doing fight choreography sometimes oh damn one of the most challenging parts oh that's awesome a that is so freaking cool the technical implementation of creating a creature but it's oh. really navigating that bounce off the dome frustrating and engaging we want to make something that makes players that thing is crazy and focus and really try hard against that enemy and feel good about overcoming that ah we don't okay want to make them feel defeated if they can't figure already studying out. some of the it feels stuff watch them mess up later on anyway possible but because it was fun and engaging yeah oh after the last game, we've heard the community cry out for more mini bosses, bigger creatures, Dude. And, and this time we really leaned into that. So in God of War Ragnarok, you're going to be traveling. And this game is massive. Have like its own theme of enemies that are very unique to that space. Dude. For example, in Alfheim, we're familiar with the Dark Elves, but this yeah. time around, we're going to be fighting Light Elves, such as the Light Elf Warrior. Huh. One of the key learnings from the last God of War game is we don't have to think about the camera and how close combat is going to feel we already have that knowledge so we can build upon the close camera that we have and we can iterate on enemies creating more interesting scenarios oh that looks so damn cool man in the last game atreus was just starting That's... to fight alongside kratos and he was learning from the master tactician so in Ooh. this game he's trying to prove himself a little bit more and we built upon those mechanics with him the previous Damn. Game, okay, Trace man. Was I'm still just a kid, right? So he has a lot hey, of that's from yeah, I remember that. And for this game, you will see Atreus moving more independently oh. on his own as a companion. Okay. In regards to VFX for Kratos, I think it's kind of cool. I do like that. Oh, the glove. Powerfulness of it. When you are playing as Kratos, you really feel like the God of War. And moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger, make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. Yeah, no, I'm feeling it right now just watching this. I can't even uh, talk, so man. I'm just facial reactions for like a whole six minutes. That will increase the combat depth of each weapon. Hey, that's like an old move. The moves that I've really enjoyed from previous God of War is the combat grapple and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist Ooh, that break though i'm very excited for players to try the blade grapple traversal move dang so man speed into the movement and the dynamic this looks so freaking cool and i like how there's like One multiple different types of enemies to kind of like around the corner and whatnot and choice to the shield loadout if you Ooh. are a parry person, you could really go for a shield that gears towards parrying. If you're a big blocker, oh, yeah. then you could choose a shield that will really match your play style. Oh, I love that. One new mechanic or element that I'm really excited about is these combo finishers. Building up the stun meter this time around is going to lead to different ways to basically decapitate the enemy. Whew. 
you're gonna be able to choose you know Ooh. which weapon you want to have to kill a guy you know cue that one one song let me i'm stylish <laughs> Added for Kratos is Ooh, man. these new pre-fall attacks. So you could jump off a ledge, and if there's an enemy below you, you could slam down on him. Ooh. There is such man, that sounds epic. In some of these fights, that it's super engaging. This is and definitely one of those Kratos movie theater games, right? Here. Mobility, and that you can also take advantage of that verticality. I think it just adds such another interesting layer to. Let's just put it this way: people out there running like that full surround sound with the freaking 4K, like 120 hertz, you know, TVs in their living rooms or game room, whatever they got going on. Man, you guys are eating. Some of the new expanded Ooh. companion actions that you'll see Atreus do leverage the fact that he's older now, he's bigger now, and he's different from Kratos, so his magic has a different flavor. Yeah, that's actually pretty dope. Not only that, the fight side by side together, um, there are also a lot of mini games and you know player interaction moments. For example, like the puzzle systems and the set pieces, you definitely will see a lot more huh. collaborations between father and son. Oh, who's that? There's so much oh, Valkyries. To Holy crap. That piece. You basically iterate and iterate and iterate and it's just testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality of something. Basically every department gives it their all to make things really spectacular. This is going to be the most insane game. Period. There like there were a lot of different times that I would look back oh. at God of War games just through the ages. Before Damn, man, the glow so up. Amazing, huge boss fights and set pieces that it was a huge inspiration for me. Damn. On this project. For the old father! Our design philosophy Ooh, for damn. creating new and memorable enemies is basically making them a combat puzzle, similar to like chess, and focusing on the chess pieces. Each piece has its own theme and its own use. You need to be able to I love see what's it. happening in an instant and be able to react as the player. There's a couple of different ways that we go. Damn, I don't even have to say, man. I'm just like players. watching. Sometimes I'm just like signature audio cues. Literally, we'll this is the, different rings, the most the crazy game. freaking so action adventure game I've ever seen. I am in the game. Holy so crap. Anyway, says they're like not excited for God of War. Like, I guess you just don't just like insane games. Wow, this is about to be a 10 out of 10, 100 percent. Oh, yeah, we got a Thor. Bro, I cannot wait to open up that hammer, though. Design has to be surrounding the essence Ooh. of the character in a story. It's what makes it believable. I know that one was shut too much, but in the first place. of Thor, but that's gonna be a big part of it. I think what I'm most excited about is for players to experience the diversity of enemies that this. Game oh, has you took a Bifrost in? You will be fighting everything from small little creatures to things that will take up the entire screen. Damn. I think each one looks so much different from the next one, and each of them have their own play styles and their own little fantasies that go into it. And so I think if you are really into North this is insanely epic, dude. These worlds, look at that world right there. That freaking forest looks so amazing. Everything that goes into the game, there's emotion behind it. And Damn. Behind it. What was that? By the time it gets to you, everything that you've seen. Interesting. Get a new girlfriend. Play and experience hmm? has been sweated over, bled over, tested, and it's fun to play. Oh uh, man, uh, was it Nephilim? It's gonna be crazy too. Are you gonna bring that back with the uh, challenge modes? You know they are. Woo. November 9, man, the world is going to explode from amazingness. Holy crap. I didn't even realize what this was supposed to be. I thought this was going to be like, hey, by the way, here's comment. They just they just showed us the comment. They flex on us. They told about how much this game means to them. Whew. Man, this is this game is going to break the Internet. Like it's going to break the Internet. It's going to break bank accounts. It's going to make people be like, I need a PS5 now. When is this coming to PC? When can I melt my PC? This looks so damn amazing. Like, I'm going to guess the minimum, the minimum spec. You're going to have to have at least like 
2090. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to have a Lee or it was a 2080 Super or something like that. You probably have to have, like some ridiculous car to even run this because how are you going to run that on a PC? Like high graphic with all that movement, all those effects, all these enemies popping up. Dude, it's crazy. That's render all that kind of stuff. Damn, that this game is going to be absolutely crazy i cannot and not wait like i said before i bought a ps4 pro right there literally got a war edition right there you can see it right there behind me got a war edition amazing best thing i ever bought has this controller right here god of war i didn't say even plants this in my drawer i cannot wait Okay, and, and <laughs> I know I'm just like, I'm not just rambling and just like, I'm just blown away. I have nothing really to say other than this. This looks freaking absolutely stunning, amazing, and I cannot wait for it. I hope you guys can't, you know, wait for it either. So let me down, know down below in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Drop them down, you know, also hit the like or dislike the video, whatever you want to do, follow your heart, but that also helps the channel, either one. And then, of course, if you made it this far to the damn video and you still haven't subscribed, dude, what are you doing? Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Be notified when we go live with the videos. You know what I'm saying? And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.